Hey guys, how's it going? Thank you so much for being here today. We're gonna to be talking about this short little stack of makeup. Whoa, oh, I just, I just took a kick to my rib. If you're new here, there's a baby in there. He's like, whoa, that's the first thing mommy said today. This stack is from a brand called Subtle Beauty, S-U-B-T-L Beauty. Um, and it's something I discovered actually through watching a Shelby Wilson video. I'll link to that below. I saw her talking about it. It seemed really intriguing to me, the whole concept. And so I wanted to try it out for myself. So I bought it. I created my own stack, which is a customizable thing. My stack contains concealer, lip and cheek, that's one thing, bronzer, highlighter, and shine control powder. Now, do I already own all of those things? Yes, I do. Could I potentially group together all of those things for maybe less than $66, which was the overall cost of my whole stack here? Yes, I'm pretty sure I could. Could I perhaps DIY this whole thing and get like an empty stack of screw together containers and create, I guess it would be purely creams, but some sort of stack of my own. I could probably do that too. But part of what's happening here is a convenience factor, okay? So instead of having my full size products all randomly thrown in a bag, everything's really compact. Everything stays together. Nothing's getting lost. I do have some powders here, some creams. Um, I was able to make choices on my concealer shade, the lip cheek shade, the bronzer shade, and yeah, there's just one option on highlighter and the shine control powder. Underneath the bottom, you do have like a little bitty applicator thing, which I actually haven't really found a use for, but it's there. And again, you could skip any of those. If you're like, I don't need bronzer, you know, don't order the bronzer or don't order the highlight. Like you can make your stack exactly the way you want it to be. And then when you get it, I got this little envelope here. It says ready for takeoff and it's got how to use on every step of the way. Other things that you could order were extras of those little applicators or extra caps. I'm guessing if you wanted to like just keep a couple of these, you know, you have that one top cap here, but if you wanted to say take this uh, powder with you and take another few things with you and keep them separate, you can purchase their own caps. So what I think this product has going for it is an undeniable size and convenience factor. That's what makes it special and handy and I look at this and I think okay if I were traveling and I really didn't mind keeping it super minimal because I would probably travel with a lot more but if I wanted to keep it minimal you would have this as like all your face stuff and then maybe I'd take what a brow thing and a mascara and that could be your whole look and it's a huge space saver in that way. Now I realize this is not like a massive super duper well-known company at this point in time. There is room to grow here but but I do think more shades in some of these different categories would be great. I think there are more kinds of products they could put out that could go here, like uh, maybe powder foundation, more shades of concealer, more shades of the lip and cheek, um, maybe just a lip, you know, that would be in a true kind of lipstick texture instead of trying to double. There are a lot of ways I think the brand could expand what they're currently doing and then kind of grow beyond that with different concepts. But what I wanna show you in this video is the actual look that all this stuff creates. Again, with just the simple additions of a brow product and a mascara today. So on my skin right now, I've got my skincare, my sunscreen, and we're just gonna jump into the concealer step. So you just twist it open, and they do have a special note that says don't twist these back together too hard. And your stack arrives, by the way, all put together. It actually came in its own little cylinder, nicely protected, and the whole thing like had my name on it on the outside, which was cool. The brand is all also cruelty free and as far as what's vegan they point out on their website that the bronzer highlighter and shine control powder so all the powders are vegan friendly and they say they're working to bring vegan friendly concealer and lip and cheek so again we're gonna get started here I untwist the bottom I can see my little applicator if I want to use that I can also tell you that the shade and concealer that I have is light this is a very very creamy concealer I'm gonna first let's just dab it around and then I may use a brush to help blend. There's a lot of moisture in this, and really it's kind of thinner than you might think it would be, which I think is a good thing about this product. If it was super thick, if it was hard to blend, um, you would only probably feel comfortable using it in tiny little places where you didn't have to blend across a lot of surface area. But here it's got some movement, and I can practically feel like, okay, 
I'm using this over a lot of places. I'm actually gonna work this practically like it's foundation. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like the product can really handle it because it is so creamy. But what is the coverage like? Well, let's show you here. I would say about 85 to 90 percent coverage on that melasma. I mean, I can still see it, but I can also build it up a little bit more. Um, but at first application, that's kind of what you get. It's not going to be as heavy-duty coverage as your shape tape. So I think a person who considers this might think, am I that full coverage foundation kind of person? Um, would I just use this as a supplement to a foundation I already have? Or could I truly get away with with this and this alone. Because if you can get away with only this stack, I mean, I think the convenience of the product is heightened considerably, wouldn't you say? The fewer things you would have to tack on in your travels or whatnot, the easier that makes things for you. But I've just kind of dabbed this in. I, I put a lot of it kind of center of the face, not really so much like down the sides of the cheeks or anything. But here's the coverage I'm working with, and it was very, very easy to spread across the skin. I feel a little dewiness where I've put it, but not really sticky. I feel like this is thinner than erase paste. It's thinner than like Bobbi Brown's creamy concealer like that. Um, I'm building up just a little bit over my areas where I've got my most darkness. I'm just going to really try to pat over it, not swipe. And you could minimize another thing that you need if you only did this with your fingers, obviously. Personally, like I feel happy with that. I feel like I've got coverage where I need it. It looks perfectly natural on my skin. And then we're gonna move on. The next step I would do, I don't necessarily work straight up the stack. Um, I would go to the Shine Control Powder here, which is available, I believe, in just the one shade. So kind of just a translucent, thin powder. And I actually kind of like this powder. Um, and I like using it to set that concealer. I'm just gonna dab it over top of where I applied with this small tapered brush from e.l.f. I feel like the concealer step plus the powder step is kind of like, okay, there's my staying power, there's my base. I'm not applying a ton of this powder, so I know that even with another cream step to come, I don't think it's going to really look funky layering up on top of it, but I really do feel more comfortable setting that under eye concealer and just making sure the T-zone gets some powder as well. Next step I'm going to go to is the bronzer, and I have it in the shade warm. Warm, and I think they also have like uh, a cooler option as well but I just thought this color might be sort of universally workable for me all over my face. Give my skin some added color also possibly might work well as an eyeshadow. It does seem to be matte. I'm going to pick some of that up with my e.l.f. complexion brush here and I'll use that right up here around my hairline. To me this seems like a very basic like standard bronzer. There's nothing really exceptional and different about it. It just it, it is what you expect. I can use it right in this area to get a little dimension there under the cheek. I can also let some of this go just over the top of the cheeks and let myself have a little more color all over the face. Next thing I would put on is the lip cheek and I chose the mauve shade. They had two other options available. This is a cream and it's going to feel a little bit thicker I think compared to the concealer. It's still easy enough to blend but it honestly surprised me a little bit that those two textures are so different. So I'm kind of just really roughly dabbing it here on the apple of my cheek and then I'm going to use a synthetic brush to help me blend that in. I just chose the mauve shade because I thought it might have the best shot at really satisfying me on the lips as well as the cheek. I wondered if some of the other shades might end up being lighter than I'd realistically want to wear on my lips. And then the nice thing about having the shine control powder is if you want to go back and without really affecting your color, kind of set this, set your cheek that is so creamy right now. I mean, it's not off the wall tacky, but it's a little bit. You can just pop on a little more of that powder, but I think that's a pretty cheek color. Kind of subtle. I'm not going too hard with it yet. I'm just building up really, really slowly. Then I'm just going to use my finger to apply this to the lips. Again, I like the mauve shade because I feel like it looks like a natural lip color on me. And this does not have shimmer, so the look is going to come off kind of just sort of creamy matte, if that makes sense, on your lips. Not overboard with shine, but there might be just a little shine there. 
And then lastly, we have our highlighter, which just comes in the one shade that is um, champagne. I really like this. I think it can be pretty intense if you want it to be, but there's no flecks of glitter. You can wear it just lightly and get a nice subtle effect. It's really up to you how this product goes, but be advised if you're applying it on top of that creamy cheek that you've just done, it will cling a little more and look a little more intense. So one thing I'm gonna do real quickly first is go to my shine control powder and just get a little bit of that on a big brush and just dab that over my cheek, just a little bit. It's not gonna take away too much of the blushy color, but just a little bit of the tacky texture. And now into the highlight. I just think it's very flattering. I mean, it would brighten any skin tone up, I think. If they're only gonna right now have one shade available in highlight, I think this is a good one to have. Take a little bit down the nose. Take a little bit up here to the forehead slightly. But there's kind of what everything's been intended for. Now I'm gonna give you a quick eye look as well here. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the concealer. A little bit of this will go a long way in this respect. But I'm gonna cover my whole eyelid and really not apply too much because this can kind of settle into your crease. So really dab over to make sure you're removing any excess. And then I'm using my bronzer step here for just a real easy little bit of a crease. This bronzer shade is plenty deep enough to just give me some natural color there. I could take this all over the lid as well if I wanted to. But for a natural look like this, that's just the right amount of depth. But couldn't you see this brand expanding and maybe putting like an eyeshadow trio or duo as an option for the stack? Then I'm going to go in with the highlighter and use this to kind of brighten around my inner corner right here. i just got a flat brush. And take it up a little bit onto the lid. You know, we're not talking advanced class here with this eye uh, look. It's just very basic, but it's a, an easy way you can multitask your products a little bit more. To finish this look 100%, I'm just going to do my brow and my mascara. Today I'm using my Maybelline Tattoo Studio in Ash Brown. I kind of like this also as a minimizing step because when I use it, I don't feel like I absolutely would 100% need a gel on top of this because it has some hold of its own. So it's kind of a one and done brow product. And something that you might think about with this brand is like, how much product am I actually getting for the price? Am I getting rooked in some way as far as, you know, these being kind of smallish products in here? And under their FAQs, the brand does say, um, we provide more makeup in our lip and cheek and concealer layers than most full-size makeup being offered online at stores like Sephora and Ulta. Full size can range anywhere from 2.6 grams to 5 grams, and they're offering 3.5 grams in their solution. They say most other cosmetic companies skew their packaging with double walled jars and extra wide compact surfaces to make it seem like you're getting a ton of makeup, but more often you're only getting a fraction of what you think you're getting. So I guess that is something to consider. That's just what they have to say for themselves. Now a quick curl of the lashes. If I were doing this look sort of for speed and not really caring to narrate and review every step of the process, um, I feel like I could put this all together pretty quickly because, you know, I've had this product on hand for weeks. I've had a chance to familiarize myself with the application and the way I like to put it on best. And just the simple fact that so much is together there and I'm not going out and searching for this product or that product. It does take a lot of decision making out of your process and that's a time saver. Finishing touch here, I think I need a little more of the lip color, which is kind of buildable. It's really only going to get so dark, but you know. This is my finished face with the Subtle Beauty Stack 
plus my brow and my mascara, and that's it. This is everything on my face right now. I did use some brushes, which if you were traveling would take up their own little bit of space, but really not that much because it wasn't like I was doing a real complicated eye look. But to me, I really like the look that this creates. I don't have a lot of complaints about the textures on the products that are in here. For what they each are, I think they're doing the job. And again, with the concealer, I think that's the thing that you could be most picky on because there's just so many different variations on concealer out there. But I like that they made it a creamy, but kind of like a thinner cream to where you could practically work that all over the skin very easily as foundation because it blends and glides across the skin with such ease. So I think it's kind of important that it is that texture. The lip cheek is a little firmer, but easily blendable. Um, I have no complaints about the bronzer or highlighter or the shine control powder either. If I'm a person who's really getting into this style of minimalist makeup, I'm not really actually seeking improvements on these products so much, but maybe some expanded shades and some expanded other types of products. Like I said, powder foundation, eyeshadow duos or trios, an actual like cream lipstick in one of these. I think there's a certain crowd out there for this kind of product that is so compact, so like put together for you. And as I said earlier, maybe this is something you could DIY on a budget you know, you could be inspired by this idea and maybe you press a bunch of different cream products into your own little twist together pots. That's certainly an option. But here, so very neatly, I have those couple different cream textures, but I also have the powders. Going forward, um, especially with a new baby on the way, I don't see myself traveling a ton. But for my purposes, I think I'll get the most use out of this on quick days. Um, maybe thrown into a little makeup bag and kept in a different area of the house where if I don't come up here and really sit down and go full on into my makeup. I've got some stuff together, very compact and very easy. And the knowledge that with just a couple of additions, I do have an acceptable full face. I come away feeling like this is a really fresh and nice look. But again, as with any product I review, go back, look at your own personal needs and desires. And if you don't see the space saving or the compact nature of this product to be a huge advantage in your life, and you're just like, I already own those things. I'm already happy with those kinds of products that I already have in my collection then cool, skip it. But if you're a frequent traveler, if you kind of like the minimalist look, if you're looking for something just very simplified that will just arrive on your doorstep in a few days that you didn't have to do any work to put it together yourself, here it is. I am not disappointed and I don't think anybody who tries this would really be disappointed with the quality of what's in here. So let me know your feedback in the comments section. Let me know if you've tried this. What did you think? Um, thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you again very soon. Bye.